In the previous tutorials, we discussed how to create simple project to demo end-to-end -end process of project creation and deployment. Also, we talked about utterance generator. Many existing platforms support those features to a certain degree already. Today, we're going to be talking about train of thought technology. This is something that our platform supports, and this is something that we um, stand out from the crowd. I will show you how it works. Let's consider the following example. We would uh, have utterance, what is the population of Seattle? And let's mark the slot with the value of Seattle and the population is the intent. And the bot would reply something like this. Population of Seattle is some number. We will hard code this number for now. Let's add a couple of more samples to make it more real. How many people live in Seattle and how large is Seattle, for example. But this is not a point. Paraphrasing, uh, it's a separate topic. So far, so good. Uh, those statements contained all information for us to deduce the intent, which is population. Now, what if user asks something like this? What about Vancouver? Well, clearly, this is not self-contained statement, and it's based on the assumption that we know what we're talking about. Because this question can have uh, plenty of answers. Are we talking about population? Are we talking about location? Are we talking about the temperature in Vancouver? We don't know. So, we need somehow to populate the knowledge uh, obtained previously from previous intents. We do that by introducing previous intent into the utterance and we would provide something like that and the answer would be exactly the same population of target would be something different population of uh, Vancouver is quite different from Seattle but we will take care of this later let's replace this something like that this is a very powerful mechanism to handle train of thought in the conversation between user and virtual assistant. Now we can handle the ambiguous statements since we have uh, the conversation context being propagated further. In addition to this, there are a few other ways to handle more complex context. We will talk about this later. Let's add a couple of more utterances into our training set to demonstrate how this idea works. If the previous intent was population and the question is how many in Vancouver, what about Vancouver and in Vancouver, we would know that the question is related to population. Interesting question at this point of time would be what if I would have the same kind of utterances appeared but there was no previous context available. So let's have it. By the way, you don't have to specify user section all the time, it's just uh, for clarity purposes. So the sections could be in any given place, it's just a convenience feature. So what about Vancouver, how many in Vancouver or end in Vancouver without previous intent means basically nothing. We use grounding mechanism to ground those statements. We can totally ignore them or provide another intent, bot would say what? Or bot would say what are you talking about? Isn't it train of thought? It's not clear what we're talking about here. Please take a look at this diagram, it's, uh, you can pause it and analyze it, but this concept is quite simple and uh, self-explanatory. One thing I would like to mention. The train of thought mechanism is available due to the backend ability to automatically collect user utterances and inferences. They are kept in user instance short-term memory and accessible automatically during deduction and by fulfillment script. When you use train of thought mechanism like this uh, in your training set, you have to enable it also in your configuration file like so. By default it is disabled. 